The only way to become a good programmer, where by definition I define good programmer as somebody who program, who writes software with clarity, is to read a lot of software, write a lot of software. Just like how do you become a good photographer? You take a lot of pictures and you look at them and you practice and you practice and you practice. That's actually quite similar to the problem with diets, right? The fundamental truth with diets is to be healthy, well, you should probably exercise regularly, you should probably eat a reasonable amount and it should be good stuff. Like, that's three things, incredibly hard to do. Most people do not do that, right? Figuring out how to write good software, read a lot of software, write a lot of software, um, aim for clarity. It sounds too simple. Why is it simple? Because there's not just a secret. There's not just one answer somebody can give you. Um, the only way you can get there is by doing it. So when I first started developing Rails, I read a ton of software. I read the entire Ruby standard library, partly because documentation of Ruby at that time was pretty poor, and the only way to figure out how it worked was to actually look at code. But that was also where I learned so much. Today, we have it so much easier. Bundle, open, name of any gem, and it'll open, boom, right up in your text editor. You can look at any code. How many of you have read through a complete gem recently? Something you did not write? Awesome. That's actually really encouraging. I thought it'd be much less. I think that is exactly the path you need to take. You need to read a shit ton of code, and it's not so much just because you read this code and then, oh, that's all great stuff. Um, just as important as it is to, to develop your sense of writing by reading a lot of shit writing, so is it with code. And I think you'll find that that is actually very easy because a lot of things you'll do bundle open on will follow Sturgeon's revelation. 90% <laughs> of everything is crap. Um, well, at least you know you have company if you write crap software, and I certainly do from time to time. Um, and that's a great way to learn. I actually find that I learned the most about software. I learned the most about what matters to me. I learned the most about what clarity is when I read poor software. Because what I do is I take a piece of software, I take a class or method, and then I look at, how good is Puklira? Like this is, I think this is poorly written. I think this smells. Um, how can I rewrite it? So by just sitting down and going through that exercise and rewriting it, I find I learn a whole lot about what I care about. So that's what I've been doing lately, uh, engaging in a lot of these internet arguments. Somebody will submit a piece of code, and usually the submission will come along with the proposed solution too, right? I had this shitty piece of code, then I learned about these three patterns, and now it's wonderful. And what I have found every single time, and I've only done this maybe a handful of times, maybe a little more, is that every single time, you just took the shitty code and you stuck it into some different boxes. Like, it didn't actually improve. Applying the pattern to it did not improve the underlying clarity of the code because you just wrote it poorly. Like the problem with the code was not that it was missing patterns. The problem with the code was that it was crap. That it just had to be rewritten. Now, that leads us to sort of a mission in some ways for what Rails is and what Ruby is. And it leads also to clarify some of the arguments we've had in the Rails community for a while. Readability is incredibly important to Ruby. We have a lot of duplicated methods that do exactly the same thing just so we can improve readability. I remember the first time I saw unless when I was learning about Ruby, that was one of those light bulb moments. It's like, wait a minute, unless is exactly the same as if not, but it's a different keyword. Huh. Right? It was not just about making the most efficient, compact language. It was about readability. <laughs> Mind blown. And decade-long love affair with Ruby established. And I think that this is what we're trying to achieve constantly in Rails as well. A lot of people will gripe about, oh, active record is too big, or something is too big, or have too many methods, or the surface area is too big, or there's whatever it is, right? Like, who gives a shit? Is it more readable? Is it more clear? That's the only thing that matters. 
What do I care whether the surface area of a method is 100 methods or it's 200 methods? I don't give a shit about that. The only thing I give a shit about is whether, is the code I'm actually reading, is the system I'm trying to understand, is that more clear? When you put clarity as your number one mission, a lot of concerns just fall by the wayside. It just doesn't matter anymore. And it's liberating. So I think this actually comes from sort of the same root. I didn't have time to write a short letter, so I wrote a long one instead. I think that describes about 80% of all that 90% of shitty code. Most people did not take the time to write a short piece of code, so they wrote a long one instead. And then they wrote that long one piece of code, and they like pulled out their suspenders and like, oh yeah, I'm done. My tests pass. Boom. Right? Or they look at it and say, like, oh shit, this is too long. I must be missing some patterns. If I just sprinkle some patterns over this, wonders, right? No. What you wrote was a draft. This was just the first draft, right? Any piece of code you write down is just a draft. Um, Mark Twain actually had the hard job, right? He wrote in ink. If you actually had to change that, well, that was kind of hard, right? So his drafts were a lot more complicated. Ours? You have it so easy. A text editor, you can just delete stuff. You don't need any of this little stuff that you, you fill over the page and you spill it everywhere and so forth. Eraser. Um, you can just delete stuff. Like that's my favorite key, the delete key. It's the number one tool for improving code. Delete key. So uh, when I was in high school, um, I submitted a bunch of first drafts as essays. And they were really shitty. And of course they were. They were the first draft. And my teacher at the time said, well, all right, all right, this is, this is actually not bad. You just only did step one. If you have something on your mind, you should write it down. That's what I did. I, I wrote it down, and then I handed it in. Oh, if you have written something down, you should rewrite it. Oh, that was the step I missed. And I think that's the step most people miss when they write down code. Because they're focused on all these other things. They're not focused on the clarity. Because when you are focused on the clarity, you will realize that all your first drafts are terrible. All my first drafts are terrible. All my first attempts at writing a good class are poor. They're too long. They're not at the same level of abstraction. They're not clear. And that's OK. I wrote something down. I was trying to figure out what the system was supposed to do. That's hard work. And oftentimes, you don't get perfect code out of that when you're still trying to figure out what it is that you're writing. Um, but once you've written it down, you should rewrite it. And I think the key part of rewriting is omitting needless words when it comes to regular writing. When it comes to programming, it's omitting needless concepts. It's omitting needless patterns. It's omitting needless practices. It's omitting needless classes. It's omitting all these extra things that aren't getting you closer to clarity. Right? How do you know? You develop an eye for it. How do you develop an eye? You read a lot of code. You write a lot of code. You rewrite a lot of code. And you forget about fucking patterns for a while. You forget about fucking TDD for a while. And you focus on just what's in front of you. The piece of code, how can I write it simpler? Write software well. Thank you very much. <laughs>